He's been gaming for over 30 years, representing the common man in gaming, bringing you the new, the old, and everything in between. Here is your host, LMG. Hey guys and girls, welcome back and thank you for joining us for our Long Dark Gameplay number 70. Okay, as we last left off, this is a uh, continuing run off the 24 hour marathon we had on Twitch. We're at 107 days. And you can see uh, we're quite well. As I alluded to in the last episode, yes, thanks to 70 Stan here for uh, doing the math on all this. Yeah, this bed is just, oh, the Trapper's Homestead bed is so OP. So what I do is I, I hang out at the camping office because it's more centrally located, but I heal up. I eat and heal up here. That's pretty much what I do. We could use a little more water maybe, but uh, we're doing okay right now. During the run, I did not pick up a lot of stuff. I'm actually waiting to pick up those matches. I want to save that for later. Alright, we're going to get looking for some more bunker locations today. Now, this in the last couple of days, people, more people are uh, finding more and more, it seems, so... But I know, uh, Infamous Pirate Normal is determined to track all those down. Yeah, so we're using, uh, his or her map today. Get that, uh, hopefully we can find that out. What I'm really looking for in there is some more clothes would be nice. We're doing okay, but we'll have to work on the clothes eventually here. Yeah, those cargo pants need some work. And the mittens, too. The toque's doing okay, and the boots are. I could all use a little love here soon. So I think that'll be eventually the thing that'll get me. That's the problem. We're still, uh... Hmm. Uh, I hate burning calories, but it is kind of so. Well. Huh. How many matches do I have on me? Got two matches on me. We'll pick up some more today when we go back. Yeah, we got a fire skill of 87, so right now it's pretty much I don't harvest outside anymore unless we need a piece of firwood or something. We've got more back at the camping office. Just because uh, it's so easy now to forge inside and not degrade the clothes. We're going to need more tinder plugs, too. I've got more back at the... That's the only other reason to go uh, forging is for tinder plugs. We've got a bunch at the back at the camping office. We don't have to worry too much yet. Yeah, this is 87% chance. I shouldn't jinx, my, jinx myself there. Ah, yay! 88%, okay. So let's just get one run going. I'm gonna do a 5 liter run of water. Not particularly neat. It's always nice to stock up, though. You never know what's gonna happen in the run. So let us at least be careful. We'll just talk about the uh, and spoilers if you haven't watched it already, but I think you should have. I just got uh, done watching today. Uh, walk the next uh, second episode of season five of The Walking Dead. Oh, so good! It's going back more to the the comic book uh, uh, adaption, well, originally from the comic book. Oh, this is great. I won't yeah. I, say I won't spoil the story too much, but oh, it's just so good. And I loved it. What time is it about now? About noon? Okay. Oh, I hate going without those negative... Because we can still run it up to negative 1500, then we won't have to worry, but we're going to get going. We've got stuff to do. 
I should probably just sleep, slow that down to add up our stack up our time, but uh, it's not about getting the best time. Or it will be, but right now it's about uh, getting that bunker. What's the temper out? Negative 13, eh, it's not so bad. Let's just check our weight. We get a little bit of run on. It's about seven to twelve kilograms is the recommended running speed if you're going to sprint, uh, yellowing it throughout the map. We got a little uh, deer trying to slowly get his way up the hill there. Uh, I tell you, much better day than yesterday, man. I had Monday I had uh, Twitch issues and uh, just because I run stuff on my laptop. Uh, today is going to be a good day, I feel. I think today is going to be a good day. We're going to have a better day than our friend Max over here. Which, in case, uh, you know, uh, he's a frozen corpse, but he's a stationary one, so he does not work as well. So don't ever put anything inside Max, or anybody else named Max for that matter. Just a general rule. We're gonna do is um probably might uh I'm actually go along around this uh, the river the southern axis and check for the bunker up there. Because I don't think we've actually picked up the stuff from the trapper uh, that hunter's blind. So we'll go check that out. And then if you're new to the video, we'll go show off the camping office real quick, so we'll probably have to warm up. More than likely, I'd imagine. And we'll check. Should be right over here. Yeah, there he is. Another one of our Carls. Oh, and I will talk about, uh, I did talk to Alan Lawrence yesterday about, um, because I was trying to run my, uh, I tried so many technical glitches on, uh, Steam yesterday. Or on Twitch. Because I was trying to run, uh, save on my, uh, so I've got a Steam application on my laptop. So I'm trying to keep these two games separate so we can do Twitch and YouTube runs. And not have them intersect. And there is a workaround around that where you can just copy and uh, uh, copy and take out your save game file and bring it back later. But uh, the system, I'm going to warn you guys, I didn't do it. I'm glad I didn't. Because the system uh, for the leaderboard does technically view that as cheating. So that's something you're not interested. If you're not worried too much about uh, the leaderboard runs, and you just want to have a couple different saves, you can pretty much just do that by copying the local file. And I just won a couple matches, actually. Why are you so difficult? Let's take. And I wanted to actually save those wood matches because I'm hoping they're a higher grade. And I can bring those into these, or these matches into that, and it will do a match heal up. So we're going to survive a little bit longer. Let's take five, just in case. The wind's picking up a little bit. Yeah, getting a little bit colder. Let's hurry up, warm up a little bit, and then we'll go check out that southern access. But yeah, I did, he did say they're working on getting multiple save files in the future. That's some kind of system of that. Nothing alluded to yet, so I don't think it'll be in the October 29th. Up, big, uh, major update, which uh, I can't wait for that. And, uh, I'll let you guys know tomorrow, on Wednesday. I don't know what time yet, unfortunately. I'm hoping to do, a uh, our Twitch stream, uh, 12 to 3 Central Daylight Time. I'm hoping to bring you guys a Kingdom Come Deliverance. But I don't know when they're handing out the Twitch keys. Or the stream key, uh, Steam keys. My bad, sorry. It's a little bit early here, so I'm trying to get more of a waking up early, getting work done all day, so I can also stream. It's a little bit of an adjustment. So check out. Yeah, God, we are fatigued and fatigued fast. 
I just kind of feel we're getting fatigued more and more as the days go on. Let's cover. I'm going to take a quick nap. Let's take, let's take a quick nap and then we're going to go along the, the southern axis to the river there. Just so we get it warmed up. We'll go check that bunker location there. There's so many bunker locations to check now, it's just, wow. Well, kind of crazy. I see we got a little wood I just dropped there for no reason. We're not going to take the clothes off because I'm just going to take a little nap. And my buddy Carl. Actually, I haven't put anything inside Carl because I just haven't really need to. I could use some more water here too. So hungry. All right, we're not too thirsty. A little bit cold, so let's just about two hours. Just get that fatigue off a little tiny bit. I just want to be a little safe, just in case something goes foobar. Right, Some days. I'm gonna hydrate just in case. I'm being exceedingly paranoid, but safer than sorry. Got that. Yeah, I'm ready when we get. So we're not going anywhere in that though. I was about to say, remind me to grab some tinder plugs. From here, we only have about five. Okay, we gotta be. I might have to actually outside forging for a little bit here. Let's grab three. And we're not going anywhere tonight. It looks like. That would probably be a good time. Actually, let's check our clothes first. What do I got going in here? Basic boots. 1.1, 1 .1, 0.08, okay. Still good. Yeah, we'll check our clothes and then we'll get a fire going again to. So we're gonna start getting some more tinder plugs, unless I got some more somewhere else. Clothes are getting a little sketchy, cloth-wise. I probably didn't maintain it as well as I usually do during the run. I don't believe we have some clothes back at the bunker also, but let's get that fire going. I would need to pick up some wood though. Yeah, we got some. I was a little sloppy in my wood, so we got fur firewood mixed in here with so much other. There we go. 88%? That sounds pretty good. So we'll just hang out here tonight. Since the weather is not cooperating. Hope we'll get a fresh start. Now we'll go out till probably about noonish. Because I don't want to get too much wear and tear. Yeah, definitely I learned just don't go out early in the morning. Unless you really need to. Let's drink and 
drop. What about six? Do me. Thank you. Need. Ah, let's keep going for a little bit. Since we're gonna sleep in anyway, might as well have some fun. All night water party. All night water party. There we go. I think it'll be nice to build up an excess in case we can't find uh, tinder plugs for a while. Just in the odd chance. Okay, I must at least get another five liters in. Two more pieces. Oh my god, we're running out of wood. Okay, so let's get five more. And this way we can sleep in and get actually that time we'll probably get up at about the right time. about because I want to get uh, 10 hours we usually go 11 but I know 11 is fine because that'll at least make sure it'll be warm hopefully not a blizzard I don't want to be stuck in here another day all right 108 days okay cool It's not too bad outside, so let's get going. I should have taken the clothes off, but ah, I forgot. It happens sometimes in these long runs. I get a little bit forgetful. I apologize. And there hasn't been no wolf activity at all in the camping office. So wolf kills, we're going to need to go after the clear cut. There's been no wolf activity anywhere else. Let's check the temperature. It's negative four. This is a good day for exploring. We'll hoof it a little bit since we're not going too far. I think we can probably get at least two bunker locations to double check today. Because I think I checked for the one across directly west from the camping office, but I was probably a little woozy from that 24-hour run, so a little loony anyway. And let's go check. I have a pretty good idea where I know where this one is, so if it is there. I think eventually we'll find it. We've got enough time. I, mean, I got nothing but time out here, really. Technically, it should be. We're going to check up here just in case, but. Yeah. You kind of got to Skyrim it up. So let's, we'll check everywhere. Yeah. It's a beautiful day today. If we have time, 
keep a lookout just in case. I don't believe this is the hill. It does not look like the picture, so just be careful. Careful, 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 careful. Yeah, be more up on that way, I think. Let's flip this hill. Oh, this looks like a hill where there'd be a bunker, I think. I do love how they put these out of the way so much that you really gotta go looking for it. It kinda actually does look like the tree. And that pretty much how much it looks exactly like where it's supposed to be, I think. I think that's a bust. We'll look around a little bit of a more of a looky loo. But I don't think it's gonna be here. We'll go gonna get that trapper uh, hunter's blind for sure. Look at that view. That's beautiful. Long way down, though. Be careful. Back down this way so we can get... Ugh. Trying to be safe and do this. I don't know a safe way to do this. Okay, okay good. Got to be a little careful because there usually is a wolf around here somewhere. Well, I think we're okay. the stuff if we didn't already. I do apologize if I did, but I can't remember during the live stream, so. Ooh, what do we got? Uh, rain pork and beans. I think I will probably actually wait. We'll wait. Ooh, what do we got out here? I hope I have my hunting knife with me, or otherwise I'll have to go back and get it. I think I have it with me. Let's just be cautious though, because I'm not entirely sure that was this scenic, uh, oh, but alright. Well, that is technically a meal right there, so let's get that. Plus the day is in total bust. Gotta be up in the hill or somewhere. That's starting to freak me out. Let's get out of here. The temper's still only negative four. That's probably good. I need to stash this meat somewhere for a second. Uh, darn it. It's my meat greed. That's a nice. And sometimes you can go back again. It's a bug they tend to fix in uh, the next update. I 
is that sometimes you can get back those ravaged, car ravaged carcasses, uh, or the frozen deer carcasses twice, and you can get, uh, where you get the meat out of them. I think I'm going along the northern axis instead of the other way. Yep, I think I am. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I did get a little disoriented when I was going out there. So what bothered me is that rock almost there almost looks like the hatch. <laughs> Sure, cleared out. Mm, I believe. Uh, maybe we'll double check. I just want to make for sure. I'll check the quality of that meat first before I go check. 70%. Oh, we can afford to screw around a little bit, I guess. I wanted to re-double check that area. Because when I probably checked, I probably wasn't entirely... No, actually we did check. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, we did check that other one by the... set of lake cabins on the south side there. So let's get back and get that meat cooked. I've had a good frozen corpse right nearby the store that I go out and search some more, but... Uh, we can go out tomorrow and look directly across. That sounds like a good idea. I'll go uh, stash that meat up in the frozen corpse up there, then we'll go back by the camp office and go directly. It's about directly uh, across, looks like. And again, this could, there could be like 20 more random locations, but I know we're trying to track them all down. Alright, let's get back inside. I thought I'd be dying from starvation. Here we go. It's actually... Yeah, I think the definitely will get me in the end of this run will be the clothes because I did not maintain as well as I should have. I didn't have great uh, close spawns anyway in this one, but... Yeah, the previous run where I goofed it up, I was sitting a lot better clothes-wise, but yeah, it's always something. Grab some wood. No, don't. Use the fur firewood. I need that for later. Okay. Eighty nine percent. Nice. I love getting my fire one of my fire starting skills up this high. It just gets so awesome. That. Then we'll sort of this in a cat in a cabinet for the. Well, actually, we still got plenty of time. What am I being so weenie for? To check on the weather, but we can at least go store that and come back, I guess. Uh, but let's. I hate wasting a fire like that, though. Yeah, just letting a fire. Point. Just missed opportunity. I 
if we don't find the one across from the camp office, we can go uh, check out the clear cut again, because I probably just didn't look hard enough, maybe. It's about five o'clock. Ah, let's just... Uh, store you there for now in the morning. I don't know why I'm still wearing my sweater though. That's weird. Okay. I still well, I can't tell from the fire going, but I'm pretty sure we're still decent. But let's get uh I do uh, in case we have a tinder plug shortage, I wanna be ready. So we can find more. Because range roll is a bitch, I gotta tell ya. I luck could go good or it could go bad, so it's always better to be prepared. just a tad bit more. There we go. I feel a lot safer if we had a stash at both. That was pretty nice. It's looking a little better. Okay, 109. All right, cool. Yeah, looking okay. So we're hydrated, right? Be careful, stupid things can kill you on occasion. So what do we got? Eight more days till the major update too also, that's gonna be uh, so awesome. I totally been mapping that out day one. Uh, I'll leave it to the others to actually draw an actual map though. I'm going to put in my guide if anybody wants to submit one. Because, uh, yeah, my artistic skills are for crap. As you all pretty sure you know. Alright, sounds not too bad out either. Maybe the weather is cooperating for a change. boots in there, that's why. There we go. I degraded a little from being inside here, but kind of had to be done. It was free meat anyway. Okay, we got everything on, right? I don't know if you did miss it during the live stream, yeah, that, uh, talking about the bedroll. That bedroll is uh, buggy, and actually, de yeah, I left it in the I left it in the dam because I don't use it anyway. But yeah, it degraded within like I think thirty to sixty days at least. But they said that's going to be fixed. Just like it, I think it's twelve. That's eh, not horrible. Okay. 
Dear run, dear run. Alright, so we'll go check that out. And probably soon after, we'll check for the bunker next to the camping office, and then we'll go. Go back to Chopper's Homestead eventually so we can heal up and then we'll go back out to the clear cut. So I mean, there actually is a shortcut to get back up there, but I usually don't take it because I get lost. But maybe we'll be adventurous and try. Oh man, this is kind of far away, but we did not have the luxury of a spawn out uh, a frozen corpse outside the camp office this time. Uh, this is about the closest spot I could get to, and it is on the way to and from Trapper's Homestead, so I made a little system. It, it works kind of nice. Feel so good. Oh, you do not. Because I got the rifle in there, that's why, but I think the other one should have enough room. You know, some of that food degrades in, it's in the red condition. I probably won't, I might actually even let it go to waste with this food poisoning thing. Because that is a pretty bad gamble. Just get an extra days worth of food is not worth the risk, I think. And the Grey Rook, uh, on the live stream yesterday, he did, uh, put on a good point is if, if you're gonna get, if you have a chance of getting food poisoning, you should probably keep some, uh, other bad quality food nearby because actually then you can just down that because once you got food poisoning, you got a good point. You really can't get food poisoning anymore, so that's probably a good time for that. Dash that, okay. Let's get going back up there. We should have enough meat and everything for our next heal up. I'm actually thinking maybe I stored some meat out on that south access, I can't remember. Or on the, the mystery lake. Oh, I'm getting forgetful sometimes. Let's just check what we got here. Yeah, not too much. Uh, I must put that other meat out there. I'm sure, I get too fatigued, but we got it feels a little chilly today, so let's hurry. Let's see how cold we are on. I don't know if I want to go risking. I was thinking there's, there's one directly across to the right of the train loading area. We could try that too. Just past the derailment. Right, we'll see. It would be pretty sweet if we did have one directly across from us. Cross it, D up. All these slopes, it's not too actually, uh, I'm sure there's a bunker video for that. I'll have to go check later then. Make sure, double check I got it right, but. Halfway up a slope near the deadfall area, but closer to the railroad track. I think I've actually looked for this before, but. Let's go have a look, see. This might be nice, almost nice if we could zoom out and get a better picture of that. Take 
looking. I'm trying to get a top down view. Halfway up the slope. Right, let's do a circum. Then around here. cache but I'll be happy with anything as long as it's not the water the one where I get like 10 liters of water oh ow shoot I knew that was a little too far that's my I apologize oh okay, that is a heck of a drop Be careful up here. Go. Half up to slow under the deadfall area. That kind of does sound like this area right here. Kind of check this whole area then I don't. So I might have gotten too far. So be more near the railroad tracks, so maybe that's slope. Right near? Right near there, it's over there. Now that's the problem with this map, everything looks the same. Sometimes when you're out here in the wilderness. Got deer over there. Let's check this slope. Probably thinking no, though. I'm having a good feeling about the clear cut, though, for some reason, I think. My luck has always usually been the clear cut. came out slightly more than I should have. Even though I do have a slight tip, even though it is kind of cheating-ish. There's one too, because I know Normal's map's got all the bunker locations. Uh, a lot of those with coordinates. So technically, if you wanted to turn on the debug thing, have your coordinates down there. That would help you out. But we're not going to do that. That's kind of cheating. Okay, we're getting pretty cold. Tired. What time was it? About one. I'll go up for a bit, but come back up on here and look again. 
Just in case, because that hatch is so small, it's easy to miss it. I do have a deer up here for some reason. Halfway up the slope. Uh, eh, priority too high for that. Yeah, we've already covered this area. I've been up and down this hill and I've not seen it, so. Probably gonna have to call it on this one because I don't think we're gonna find it. No, when we do find it, will be completely by accident. I'm looking and not seeing. So the ravens are quitting their job for the day. We've Hovering over corpses. Get back out here. Uh, next one we'll check. We'll try the one by the tree loading area. Why is it warm up for a bit? What's the temp now? Oh, negative four. Oh. Been a good day to forge outside there just in case we need some more tinder plugs, but I do like my exploring. We'll go inside, warm up, and rest for a bit, then we'll go out and check out that, uh, Run by the train loading area. Well, maybe we should head back. Yeah. 38%. Have to sleep tonight. That would be cutting it a little close. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Can't feel my hands. Paranoid, make sure I hydrate. I think my stomach is eating itself. The rest for about. Yeah, it's only make about two hours. But if I want to go back to the. Trapper's homestead or not yet. Mm. Yeah, that winter coat might be deteriorating enough that, uh, yeah, once it gets to point two point four, when it gets less than that, it seems to not count as well enough against the cold alone. I have to work on that soon. Now I'll probably just wear two layers inside. Probably a safe bet right now, just head back to the Traverse Homestead. And barring hopefully the weather's not bad outside. Hmm. I 
It's actually kind of nice. Hmm. Right, so let's go for a quick run. So, so I don't want to double check and see. I think I may have some meat stored up on the south lake there. Let's see if I have any food up there. Do a quick run. I am slightly fatigued, but um, uh, if we do do a quick enough run, I think we'll be okay. We'll run halfway there, then walk, and then run halfway back. The worst we can set out tomorrow morning to heal. Might be a better idea since we are fatigued. In case something insane were to happen. tools out here. Okay. Fair enough. So it seems I will have to go on a... Uh, I was hoping I had stored some extra meat in there, but I was not thinking it was probably not so. So eventually we're going to have to get that... We're going to pick that rifle up. I'm going to go back to Trapper's Homestead. We'll do that tomorrow morning-ish. Do that heal up. I'll go some hunting. Uh, might probably actually, uh, I'll probably be in the next episode. We'll go out to the clear cut. And I want to see if I can get a wolf deer kill. Just replenish our stores. We're doing, we're doing okay on food, but I don't want to get into the MREs or anything unless I can really avoid it. I'm trying to save that till like eventually the bullets wear out. But we'll see what happens. Oh, don't mock me. Don't mock me, dear. Yeah, you're... You're lucky. It's been a lot of easy hunting deer out here for the most part. It'll be pretty easy to live. Definitely interested to find that bunker though to see if we can find any uh, ammo. But next area we're going to check up in the clear cut across from the uh, train loading area directly across from that. I want to go check the clear cut locations again. I didn't think I'd probably check that as thoroughly as I should have. There's plenty of deer out here, no wolves. I just keep let's just keep the sweater on and they call the winter code that should two degrees at least okay that sound good do I need more wood though yeah the pile is getting a little 
a little more short. My stomach feels like a little bit. I am kind of fatigued. Let's just do two hours to be safe. Only two, but that's nice. Better than nothing, I guess. Right here. Eleven hours. They'll bring us down to twenty-one percent around there. Yeah, about twenty-one percent. Okay, twenty-one percent. All right, hundred ten days. All right. So this is going very well. We must work on the clothes very soon here. I'm just hoping that bunker's got some. That would be my hope. Pretty much ended up uh, around 60 days or so. I ended up looting all the containers, but we didn't manage our clothes as well as we should have. In the beginning of that 24 uh, hour stream, as I've said before, what time is it? A little 6 a.m. Uh, let's see how cold it is. That is the factor. Oh, puff. Hell no. We're not going. <laughs> So we could probably heck are my other mittens. Uh, it's actually probably a harvest. Basic gloves. My mittens a bit. The scarf I'm just gonna let go because we don't even at 100 percent the scarf isn't that great. Uh, eventually we'll end up putting everything into that quality winter coat because that's gonna keep us alive when basically when we on our last straights there. Where can I find something to eat? Oh, we did have a couple uh, repair fails too that kind of bit us in the butt. Probably shouldn't have repaired us uh, so early, but uh, we had to do what we had to do. Okay, so what time is it about? Oh, I don't want to go out that early yet. Let's forge for about two hours and then we'll go. It's so dang cold that early in the morning. Yeah, I can't honestly recommend going out that early anymore. Unless you really have to and your clothes are in pretty good shape. Okay. Doesn't sound too bad out either, so hopefully... Negative 16. Now yeah, well it's, it's going to have to be okay enough, I guess. Getting to the point where I shouldn't screw around. Let's not dawdle, though. And we might run a little bit over the hour mark, but I do want to finish up at 100% here, so we'll just run... Get uh, fed and healed up. That's where we'll end our episode. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. 
I don't know why I keep saying that. That things usually happen when I say that. But luckily, I've usually I've done this back and forth from here so many times. I pretty much I can't screw it up. Five hundred calories. Just need the two venison and then a couple, uh, a couple granola bars, energy bars, something like that. As long as they have plus nine hundred fifty calories, we should be good. And it's so dodgy to get that. There we go. Did I have it in here? Uh, I don't think I did. Dodgy getting that. That's a little over, but let's grab that and get the meat and get going. Did you eat trees? Don't worry, buddy. Normally, I probably advise a little caution against going around 17% here, but I know this area pretty well. And I have over 150 hours in the game, so. I do play a little uh, more dangerous. Probably want to go around this to 17% in the clear cut area though, because that's where I know the wolves are, but around here I have not seen anything. Yeah, spawn patterns are pretty much in a set pattern throughout the entire run, it, it always seems to be. It doesn't really change. Alright, two venison. We do think we do have about eight of uh, those uh, water purification tabs, which I'm just uh, storing right now for later. You can uh, purify water without having to boil it that way. I'm trying to save it during one of the last runs or something. I need to conserve a fire or something like that. Just in doomsday scenario. I always got stuck on the same tree, that's so funny. Next is the last stand. There we go, we'll go slightly that way. I'll tell you this, when that new map comes out, I'm going to be scared of every building for a while, just in case they fluffy migrated. I don't, that's, that'll give you something to worry about. What if they put wolves in every building? Oh, that's a terrible, terrible thought. Here! Meal, meal, meal. Oh. I can pretty much easily hunt around here, but I want to go up to the clear cut, see if we can get an easy kill. The meat stockpile going again. Frog time. Oh, hey. Enough out of you. Okay, check her. Make it a quick fire going just to warm up. We'll get some water going, I guess. I don't really want to get any water, I just want to heal up, actually. Something to eat. Pick up some more tinder plugs. We should go, uh, once I get those clothes upgraded again, we'll go foraging for more tinder plugs. 
90% though, I like that. Actually, it's gonna... That'll warm us while we can rest a little bit and get the fatigue down a little more. Everybody's about to 11%. I could take that down even further, but you never know. Careful just in case that food, some odd reason we do get food poisoning. We'll eat the questionable stuff first just in case. Alright, eating dog food. And don't worry too much, we have another can opener. I'm just using that one for right now. We gotta get our clothes off too. It'll bring us a little bit over what we need, but that'll be okay, because we're gonna spend a second screwing around. Oh, make sure you're hydrated. Remember to bring a towel! Oh, I missed your towel. Fell down there. About 11 hours. This should do the trick. Yeah, look at the condition go up. Isn't that crazy? Now, we were not living before. I'll tell you that. Alright. So we're at 100% here. I'm just going to do this the proper way. So we're going to hibernate here. So we've got all these calories to use up before we hit the negative 1500. Now this is the proper way to do it. I'm about 90% now. But I have some more water. We can do that again to get up to the whole 1500. We can bring about 80% uh, there, but we will get going in the next episode because we got a lot to do. But where do we end off at? About 111 days. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe the whole deal there. Be sure to follow me on this run. It should be a pretty good run. I think we're going doing uh, fairly well. Right, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode.